The time is now to stop all the fitna and the problems that this ummah is going through. The time is now, my brothers and sisters in Islam, for you to take on that responsibility in your hands. The time is now to remember the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Tawbah when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuha ladheena amanu, ma lakum, ma lakum idha qeela lakum infiru fi sabeelillahi thaqaltum ila al-ard, araditum bil hayati al-dunya min al-akhirah, wa ma al-hayati al-dunya fi al-akhirati illa qaleel. What is Allah saying? Oh, people who believe, what is wrong with you? When it is told to you, when someone tells you, go out in the path of Allah, go out struggling in the path of Allah, that you stick yourselves, throwing yourself to the ground. Are you happy with the life of this dunya? What is the life of this dunya in the hereafter except very, very little? My brothers and sisters in Islam, if you prefer this dunya, over the hereafter by Allah, Allah will give us a disgrace in this dunya and He will not remove it until we return back to Him. My brothers and sisters in Islam, have you seen how Allah disgraced those people who prefer this dunya over the hereafter? What a disgrace. And by Allah, have you seen the example of those people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed to prefer the hereafter over this dunya? al Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah, he said in, the, in that beautiful narration from him, Oh people, work for the hereafter. Work for the hereafter. For indeed, I have seen in my life, anyone who works for the hereafter also gets the dunya. The dunya goes after him, runs after him. But I have never found anyone who works for this dunya ever get any peace of the hereafter. Ask yourself, for which cause are you spending most of your time? As the scholars of Islam said, Verily, the love of this dunya and the love of the hereafter like two scales. When one becomes heavy, the other one becomes light. When the other one becomes heavy, the other one becomes light. My brothers and sisters in Islam, if our Prophet ﷺ was here today and he said, O oh people, O oh Muslimin, come with me, come with me towards this or that cause, what answer would we give Rasulullah ﷺ? In the Battle of Badr, the Prophet ﷺ stood there and it was very evident, this was just before the Battle of Badr, the Prophet ﷺ stood amongst his Sahaba and it was very, very clear that a battle was going to take place. But the Sahaba had not come out of Medina prepared. They had blunt swords. They have hardly any shields. They did not have any armor. They were only 315 or 16 in number. That's it. They had only a few camels amongst them, no horses. And here was Quraysh that have come with their fakhr and with their hadith. They had come with their, with, with their pride in their heart and with their iron and all the weaponry. So here the Prophet ﷺ said, advise me, O Sahaba. So Abu Bakr and Umar stood up. Listen to this. Listen to this. Abu Bakr and Umar said, Ya Rasulullah, do as Allah commands you. For indeed, we will not say to you, as the Banu Israel said to Musa, go you and fight, you and your Lord, and we will stay here. Rather, we will say, go you, fight, you and your Lord, and we will follow you in it. Then the Prophet ﷺ still wasn't happy. He still kept quiet, and then he still said, advise me. It was not enough. Advise me. So a man by the name of Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad, the honored man of Ansar stood up and he said, Perhaps, Ya Rasulullah, you're referring to us. Perhaps, Ya Rasulullah, you're referring to us, the young men and the young women that said that we will help you when you come to Medina. Perhaps you're referring to us. So the Prophet said, Yes, I'm referring to you. So look at the answer of Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad. Look at the answer of this man, Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad, the one who, when he passed away, the throne shook from sadness of the death of Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad. What did Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad say? Ya Rasulullah, we have promised you that when you come to Medina, we will support you with our blood and our sweat and we are not going to go back on our word. Ya Rasulullah, take us wherever you want to take us. He continued and he said, Ya Rasulullah, if you drive us into the ocean, by Allah, we will follow you in it. Even if that means that we are going to be drowned. 
Ya Rasulullah, he continued and he said, Ya Rasulullah, we are patient in battle. We are truthful when we meet the enemy. No one amongst us will turn our backs, not a single man. Ya Rasulullah, perhaps Allah will show you from us that will please your heart about us. Ya Rasulullah, go and fight and we will follow you in it. This is the answer we're looking for. This is the answer we're looking for. This is the answer that made the Prophet وسلم, smile. Awake, my brothers and sisters in Islam, awake. The time is now. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, ma lakum idha qeela lakum infiru fi sabilillahi thaqaltu min al-ard. Araditum bil hayati dunya min al-akhirah. وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا فِي الْآخِرَةِ إِلَّا قَلِيلٌ What is wrong with you, O oh Muslimin, O oh people of Iman, when it is said to you, go out in the path of Allah, help Allah's deen, help Allah, give Allah alone, help your Muslim brothers and sisters that you stick to the earth. Are you happy with the life of this dunya? What is the life of this dunya in the hereafter except very, very simple, very Allahumma it doesn't even worthy a mention.